Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. In this video series, we're going to do two videos. We're going to do the first video is going to be on the Waterloo British Center Companies, the Napoleonic Wars. And in the second video, we're going to do Waterloo British Infantry Flank Companies. Uh, so let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about the center companies in this video. All right, the center companies uh, comes in a bag. I think they've started to kind of shy away from boxes and they're going towards bags for all their model kits, which I'm perfectly okay because what do I wind up doing? I wind up throwing away the boxes anyway. And this way I get to keep the Ziploc bag and maybe store spare parts and things like that in a bag. It's just, it's just more convenient for me, and I appreciate that. Now, you get 52 in this box, in this, okay, this bag, uh, 52 center companies. Now, if I was just doing just a center company without any flank or anything like that, I could get two black powder units of 24 with this set. But I'm going to mix this and the flank companies together, and we're going to get even more with a variety of models in each unit. But let's take a look at uh, the models that you get. Well, first of all, let's take a look at the packaging. Uh, it's giving you some picture ideas. Not that big of a deal. This one still has the pamphlet inside, which probably will explain how to put models together. Uh, some of their newer baggies have the instructions right here on the header card. But let's go ahead and take the header card off, open the Ziploc bag, pull these models out, and take a good look at them. All right, so we got the models out. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this little pamphlet out right here. And I'm going to take a look. And that is a beautiful sight. I love it when you get flags with your unit. Now, what if I'm not doing these units, well, then I'll have to use some other flag sets, but at least they give you something to get started with. Looks like two different units. It looks like maybe that's the fourth. What it says right here. Yeah, the fourth King Zone and the 30 foot Sussex Regiment. Okay. And then apparently March of Eagles is a Victrix Napoleonics game uh, that you can play using these models. Uh, I got a couple of different armies, the range of the weapons, combat processes and stuff. But I plan to use black powder. And then this is the instruction sheet on how to put, that's all you need, just the instruction sheet on how to put the guys together. Flags. Okay, set that off to the side. And the flags, okay, hold on. The flags are fairly detailed. Uh, when we go to zoom in on the models, I'll zoom in on the flags so you can kind of take a look at what you get. Let's see what kind of variety we get here with these sprues. Yes, there is a variety on the sprues. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out what we get. This looks like all kinds of accessories. Weapon arms. Heads. and one body looks like an officer of some kind okay same thing arms one body arms and heads one body arms and heads one body okay Ten, eleven, twelve guys on this sprue. Looks like this guy is kneeling, running, and then a couple of guys standing. That guy looks really thin. Like he's probably supposed to be a drummer boy. Because he is, he's super small. And it looks like he's got a peg sticking out of his leg. Which, where, where'd he go? Yeah, he's got a peg sticking out of his leg, which I assume the drum kind of goes on to. We'll get, there's a drum there, there's a drum there. So we're going to, might be 
there's a drum here. That's three different possible. Yep, and then this standard, and it's got uh, tassels hanging off this standard. You can make two units easily because uh, the Brits usually have two two flags in every unit, and there's two flags, two flags. Uh, you get an extra drummer though. You get two drummers, which I guess is okay. Now, if you wanted to just put one flag, like just the regimental or just the king's colors, you could do that, I suppose. Uh, but okay, these guys have what I say, twelve, and there's one, two, three, four of them. So that's 48 models just right there. And then four more models, making it 52. And there's the four officers. So I think they're, they want you to make four units, but with only one flag per unit. Okay, so we got our, we got our sprues down. Now what I'd like to do is take one of each of these sprues and kind of zoom in and take a look at what you get on each sprue. All right, so let's let's take a look at the figure sprue uh, and not the arms. Okay, so this actually has the bodies, the frames. Okay, let's start at this guy here. Looks pretty good. Let's, you can see the stitching on his lace and you see that tab that sticks out of the model's leg right there. That's gotta be for the drummer. And you can see where this guy's got the sword. So he's some kind of uh, standard bearer, possibly. Or an officer. This guy's got uh, straps, ammo cartridge on one side. Okay, there's your kneeling guy with his extra leg. There's a guy running with his leg kicked up. There's a guy standing as well, just standing, fighting. Should be pretty easy to paint these uh, shoulder straps. How far they stick out like that, that's good. Okay. Flipping around, staying on the same side. Looks like you get a looks like a ruler for their game rules that they use. But uh, there's the standard bearer with his uh, tassels on the standard. Looks like uh, a pistol, a sword sheath, drum handles, dr drumsticks for the drummer. There's the drum, you glue it together, then you got that hole that you stick into the leg. Looks like a sword, I mean not a sword, to get a musket. And then there's a variety of different packs. Um, with the extra bag or cooking utensils. And then a bunch of bags without a couple extra pairs of shoes. Okay, let's flip it over. The backs of the bags just going to go straight onto the back of the soldier, so there's no need to have any detail there, obviously. Uh, there's the standard flipping around. We're going to look at bodies. 
round canteens, ammo cartridges, haversacks for your bread bag, loose pants, long coats for Waterloo, Just a thin drummer boy. And then the guy with the sword, which I assume is an officer or a NCO. That is another thing I noted I didn't notice an NCO. Oh wait, I did. There's an NCO right there. NCO um spear. Okay, well, we'll take a look at that here in just a second. Okay, so let's. This is the arms, the muskets, the arms, and like swords and the heads. So let's take a look real quick at that officer body. A variety of different heads. Without hats, and then some with the covers, the uh, oil skin covers i only see a couple like two with that um just extra arms there's a sword for the officers uh extra arms just for holding the rifles and this right here is the nco pike that i was talking about i was afraid there wasn't any of those now let's look at the muskets Start up there. Okay, firing. Looks like a couple of them firing. Some of them carrying it port arms. That guy's just carrying it the side of his arm. Uh, these guys are just carrying like advancing combat. Them as well. Them as well. Like bayoneting. This guy looks like he's reloading. This guy's got shoulder, possibly shoulder arms. Okay, so you get a, a variety. So you're getting a couple of shoulder arms, reloading, bayonet, combat ready, high port, rifle, ah, shooting, just to carry. Okay. Oh, before I promised that I'd show the flags. Hang on, let me zoom in the flags. Let's take a look at the detail on these flags. That's pretty good. Karuna, that's the fourth in the peninsula. There's the king's flag. I mean, it's it'd be a shame not to use these flags. And then there is the 35th Regiment. That's what the Roman numerals say. Yep, 35th Regiment. And then they're kind of like a reddish orange, it looks like. Then the the part that actually wraps around the standard, that, that looks like cloth, doesn't it? That looks really good. You know how that's got that like soft, silky cloth that wraps around the pole. These flags, they've done really good with these flags. I'm, I'm impressed. All right. All right. That was the center companies. Come back and see the flank companies in the next video. I'll catch you then.